Thank you for choosing Warmboard. In this video, we'll walk you through the installation process of the Warmboard R radiant panel. The installation of Warmboard occurs in three phases. The first is to review the Warmboard plans. The second is the installation of the panels. The final phase involves a plumber or radiant professional to install the tubing and manifolds. Once on site, the first step is to open the Warmboard installation kit. This contains many of the items needed for your installation. The first thing you will see is a set of plans for your project. We'll get to these in a moment. Next, you will see these alignment pins, custom route templates, and even a router bit. Keep these things in a safe place. Remember, if you are the one receiving this kit, part of it is for installing the panels, and the other is for installing the tubing and manifolds. Every successful warm board installation begins with a thorough review of the plans. If you have any questions during your plan review process, please call us. You'll find the number located on the plans provided, inside the installation manuals, and on the panels. Now let's take a look at the warm board plans. The panel schedule will tell you the number and type of panels to be used in your system. This value should match the quantity shipped to your project site. If there are any discrepancies, give us a call immediately. You will also want to pay attention to any callouts or notes. This line indicates where the panel installation should begin. Everything flows from this point. Scanning over the plans, you can see turn panels that are orange and straight panels which are purple. A shared panel and a cut panel are noted by an asterisk. Pay attention to these as you'll need to save these offcuts for later in the job. For example, this panel is to be cut and then used here and here. It's best practice to save all offcuts until the panel installation is complete, just in case you need them later. The Framing Carpenter's work will be guided by the panel layout plan. If you find any discrepancy or have any confusion, the tubing layout will help you understand the panel layout. But remember, with Warmboard, it's very easy to make adjustments on the fly should the need arise. If this happens, just be sure to make notes so you can adjust the tubing layout accordingly. There are two types of Warmboard R panel. And when stacked, it's easy to differentiate between the panel types by looking at the color stripe tagged at the edge of the panel. These colors, of course, coincide with the color coding you see in your design. Warmboard R panels are typically installed over existing subfloor or over slab. Refer to the installation guide before you install over either surface. In this first example, we're installing over slab. The first step to install over concrete is to put down a vapor barrier. On this set of plans, the first panel in this room should be installed here. So we're going to start with an RT panel. When fastening over concrete, we recommend using one of three attachment methods shown in our installation guide. For this application, we'll be using split drive anchors. Stand on one side of the panel and drill down through the warmboard R panel into at least one inch of concrete. Then vacuum out the dust. Finally, hammer in the split drive anchors. Each Warmboard R panel will require nine of these fasteners per panel, so just proceed down the row. In this next example, we'll be installing over subfloor. The main difference between a slab installation and a subfloor application are the number and types of fasteners. When installing over a subfloor, be sure to use 12 fasteners per panel as specified in our installation guide. Next, we will cut and install these panels. For safety reasons, always wear eye protection while cutting, and we recommend flipping the panel upside down to help remove burrs as the saw cuts. After you get a few panels down, you'll get a good rhythm going and the pace will pick up. Remember to continue using your spacers and alignment pins to ensure your panels and tubing channels align. Once your panels are installed successfully, it is time to move on to the next steps. In summary, double check your shipment and count your panels. Install the first panel as specified on the plan sets. Always use alignment pins. Chalk line and lacquer spray, wax pencils, and permanent markers are very helpful. 